in this experiment we will see how to measure peak voltage at frequency of an ac signal first i request you to read the lab manual and read more about cro from internet the instruments we need for the experiments are an ac signal generator and a cro this is a ac signal generator and this instrument generates ac signals according to our requirements for visualizing and measuring the signal parameter we use a cro this is a cro cro means cathode ray oscilloscope uh, let me switch on the apparatus cathode ray oscilloscope uh, gives a visual representation of electrical quantities such as voltage and current waveforms in an electrical circuit it utilizes the properties of cathode rays of being deflected by electric and magnetic field of producing scintillations on a fluorescent screen without any input signal uh, one will get a straight line in cro screen like this the y axis of the screen gives the voltage of the signal and the x axis okay x axis of the screen represents the time component of the signal for a clear understanding of the cro screen i have shown it separately here here the center horizontal and vertical lines have again subdivided with the small lines the separation between uh, two small uh, lines are point to division and the side length of each small square is one division okay so once again the separation between two small lines are point to division and side length of each small square is one division and for an example uh, let's measure the peak to peak vertical length of a signal okay see uh, it is uh, two division and also the peak to peak horizontal length of uh, this signal uh, it is uh, 2.2 division okay now you can see the visual representation of a sine wave uh, rotating uh, this knob you uh, see you you can see here rotating this knob that is volts per division that knob label like this you can simply change the amplitude magnification see amplitude magnification of the signal and rotating this knob okay this is actually time per division it changes the magnification of time period of the signal okay you can see time period of the signal is changing as i said earlier x axis represents the time time period and y axis represents the voltage of the uh, signal okay hence if you want to measure the uh, peak voltage of the signal then you want to note down the vertical measurements okay vertical measurements and you can move the signal up and down by adjusting this knob okay there is a knob here this knob cro and uh, now let's see how to measure the peak to peak voltage of this signal okay and so for that purpose i just one peak uh, like this see here i uh, just look in the center line i uh, just one peak like this uh, that is place the base of the signal peak above this uh, horizontal line uh, now measure the vertical length. length how much it is you can see uh, this is 1 2 Okay, two divisions. This is one, two. Okay, total two division. Uh, for finding the voltage, this peak to peak uh, voltage. Uh, what you want to do is just uh, you want to multiply this two division with this knob value. What is the knob value here? Knob value is five volts per division. Okay, five volts per division. So uh, that means multiplication in the sense uh, five volts per division into two division. Okay, then you will get. Uh, 10 volts that means volts per division into division that means division will cancel out so you will get in volts so okay 5 into 2 10 volts you will get uh, as the peak to peak voltage of the uh, signal okay this is uh, two times the peak voltage value so hence uh, you want to just divide it by 2 then you will get the peak voltage of the electric signal and if you need the rms value of the voltage you just simply divide the voltage value with the root 2 and uh, now let's see 
how to measure the frequency of the signal so uh, for finding the frequency just uh, adjust uh, one peak like this see uh, like uh, one minute yeah see you can move the x position like this okay. and that means place the center of peak of a signal in this vertical line and now measure the horizontal length up to next peak okay so that is you can see this is one division and 1.2 okay uh, so the uh, length up to next peak is 1.2 division now for finding the time period what you want to do is you want to multiply this 1.2 division with the, uh, this no value this is this no value this is actually means 0.1 millisecond per division is the value and uh, you want to multiply this 0.1 millisecond per division into 1.2 division then you will get the time period okay so and uh, uh, if you want to find the frequency of the signal what do you want to do uh, you just want to find out 1 by time period okay then you will get the frequency so this is the way to find the time period and voltage of an electric signal using CRO and uh, now you can uh, change the signal by changing the values of voltage see you can see in this voltage and uh, frequency of the function generator see frequency you can see it is changing okay so in the function generator there are two knobs one is for frequency uh, changing frequency and another is for changing amplitude so by changing these uh, knobs you can change frequency and uh, amplitude of the uh, signal okay uh, this is all about this experiment uh, thank you